Hello, this is Sonia from My Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. As you can see, we are talking Christmas and Advent. And I would like to show you my plans for um, Advent, December daily, and um, what I'm going to do um, this year. As we know, this year is a little bit different. We might not do all those typical traditions we do, going to Christmas lights or anything. I don't know how it is in your country. Our country is fairly relaxed at the moment in Cape Town. So as long as we just got masks, um, yeah, we're fine. Um, so there will be a few events we're going to attend. But um, yeah, I was just thinking it might look a little bit different um, Christmas this year. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to do make one big booklet with everything included. My Advent, a little bit of December daily, um, prompts I'm doing. Um, I've got a sort of a prompt from Sue's from Scrap um scrapbooking scrap therapy whatever see she also have a prompt out so i'm just going to do everything in this little book and i've decided to do ring bind so i can actually um fill it in as i want i've originally decided to use these big ring binders so at the moment i'm just using the small ones because i think it looks a bit silly if you have this thin little book with this big ring rings so as the books full book full up i'm just going to add some papers in so this is what I've decided to do. I'm just going to move that around. So this is my cover page. What I'm using is I'm mostly using Illustrated Faith and printables. As you know, for the month of November, I'm sort of the price I won for this um, um, competition that I had a while ago. I have access to all the printables this month. So I'm just making use of it. I'm using all the printables I have. So obviously, I'm not saying you need to do it. Use maybe one um, sort of advent or prompt list you want to continue i've just cut about two which i'm going to do is so i'm going to do one personally for myself and one for us as a family and then the the prompts from sue fish i'm just generally it's just some fun prompts i'll show you in a minute so i'm just going to put everything in this little booklet so what i've done is i've done my cover already this is from Fala la maggie holmes i'm just using the printables i have from this year these beautiful printables from maggie holmes at the moment but i'm just decided i'm going to use what i have so this is the cover. So I've just done this page. And yeah, what I forgot to do is I forgot to um, make the make it that I can put a little ribbon sort of to, to bind the booklet. Um, so I'm going to might do that later in a later stage. So this is my insides. And then I've just got a normal backing at the at the back, page at the back. So what I've done, I've decided just to use normal cardstock on it to 60 MG. And I'm just going to do my inside pages with it. So um, that's basically what I'm going to do. What I have, if I've got my, or I mean, this is not even half of the printables I have. So I still need to do lots of fussy cutting. So the, the printables or the prompts from Brave Little Taylor, which is called Unprecedented. I've got the card here, the printables. You can get the physical also. I don't know if it's still available. I think it's actually sold out. So what she's done is she's, she's done it nice. You see, she put it that you can, Print it out and fold it. So you've got the date, which is the 25th year. And then you've got your little devotion at the back. So this is what I'm going to do as a family. So if, in the evenings when we do our devotions, we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to do Brianna Shaw Walters' um, Light of the World printables or um, devotion. I'm going to do that personally for myself in the morning. So I've got her printables there. Um, so, and the rest of it, I've just got loads of illustrated five printables, which I'm going to use as my decorating pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it fairly simple for myself. Um, might I post every day because I find gratitude documenting was quite a lot of work posting every day, but I'm going to do one, maybe one post per week because it's divided into the theme of hope, love, joy, and peace. So I might do one process video or one um, yeah, maybe I'll do one process video for each one of those prompts. But this little booklet is just where I'm going to put my my prompt list in and the various ones I'm going to do. So it might sound a little bit confusing at the moment, but I'm going to show you more or less what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put you in fast forward and then we're going to put some pages together. I'm going to put a sort of entrance page, then another sort of start of the yeah, an entrance page. And then I'm going to just do a nice decorating page because there's so many beautiful printables. And then I'm going to start the week with hope. And then I'm going to do the unprecedented one there. I'm going to put 
Browner Showalter's little um, prompt list or her devotion in there. So I can do that in the mornings. And then I'm going to do Sue's Fis um, prompt list, which is this. I'm going to look at that, see if like means it's the first one is three things you are grateful for. Though you start with that, and then she's got every um um day prompt. You can put a photo with it, or you can just generally do it. So I'm going to do that there, and then as the weeks goes on, I'm just going to fill this little booklet. So yeah, let me put you on fast forward, and then I'll explain a little bit. Um, it might sound a bit complicated, but basically I want to keep everything in this book, all the advent I'm doing. All the December daily I'm doing. If we do, if we go out and we have a nice photo, I'll just pop it in here also. So basically, this is just going to be my one December book with everything. I'm not going to do a full blown December daily. Last year I done my first December December daily. I've got a playlist for that. I'll link it up here or down below if you're interested in. I really enjoyed it. I love doing it. It was. I really pushed myself. I've done all the typical pages everybody's doing in December daily and. I've just, yeah, I've just, I'm very proud of that um, um, the December daily, so I really enjoy doing it, but I just thought this year, because it's a little bit low-key, we're not going anyway, half of the things we usually go to, we might not be able to go to, so I'm just going to do it all in this booklet. So yeah, let me put you on fast forward, and um, then we um, can continue with this. Okay, I've got my things ready for my first page, which I just want to do an introduction page. But um, I'm going to use some good glue for this Advent little book. But in the meantime, I've decided now it's an opportunity to put a ribbon so I can close the book inside because I'm going to put pattern paper over that. So I'm just securing it with some double-sided tape. And I'm just to make it nice and secure. And then I'm going to put these pattern papers on top, which, as I said, I'm deciding to use good double-sided tape and some liquid glue because I want, obviously, this book to last for a while um, because it might be flipped through for um, quite a bit. It's different than any other mini book, which you might maybe just make for one project. You, may be, you might um, look through it sort of once or twice in your lifetime. But this little booklet, obviously, is going to be hopefully looked at many years to come. So I want everything to be nice and and well put together and that's why I'm trying to use liquid glue and some double-sided tape. I find the print sometimes, especially the smaller bits, all fall off. So I put the Advent word Advent there at the top. As I said, all these printables is from Illustrated Faith. I'll put a whole sort of link down below. Just unfortunately I can't it's a bit difficult telling you exactly from where everything comes. If I remember it I will I will tell. Um but yeah, I'm just putting this cute little Christmas tree there with the presents around it. Um, yeah, I just thought it looks cute. A nice introduction page. We have to say that this Advent. And now I'm just going to do an introduction page for the unprecedented um, card set from Brave Little Table Taylor. And I love, she made such a beautiful, go to her Instagram handle, what's her YouTube channel, oh no, IGT. IGTV um, videos he made about why she wrote it and it, um, it's just it's a different way of looking at hope love joy and peace not from the world's perspective but from a biblical perspective and that is it was so beautiful listening to it and I'm excited to do this card set with my children or us, or us as a family rather together so I'm just putting that 25 days of Advent at the bottom decorating it with a nice um, red doily and then I'm just using this cute little cup. I think actually that's from Kelly Banks printables, one of her printables. Just a nice muck of cream there. That's cute. And now I'm just putting together the introduction page from Brianna Show Waters um, Light to All the World, I think it's called. Um, a light for All the World, yeah. So I'm just putting the introduction page, the, the, the passages we're going to read every day and just a heart behind it. Just put that down. That pattern paper is also from her. Her style is a little bit different than the than the illustrated um, five um, printables this year, but it doesn't matter. It's all it all will work together. Now I'm just putting Sue Fis printable. The prompts she has there, backing it also with pattern paper there at the back, and decorating it with some light bulbs. And now I'm starting with the first week introduction page, which is hope for the first week or first like part of the prompt we're going to look all at the verses of hope and what is the difference between worldly hope worldly hope is just something to look forward to you hope something is going to happen it's very fickle it's uncertain hope from the biblical perspective is absolutely a certain hope 
that it's going to happen. We have our hope in our salvation, in eternal life, spending eternity with um, with the Lord in heaven. So yeah, that is um, that. And now I'm just going to do this um, introduction. So oh, not introduction, just, just a nice decorative page. And just to use these beautiful printables up. I love this is from Kelly Banks. Um, one of her printables, newest printables. Um, so I've just got this beautiful old-fashioned decoration. So I'd love to have my whole Christmas tree full of that. But these, this is unfortunately so expensive. These real oldie worldy type of um, um, decorations. But I think if you just collect sort of every year one, then you can build yourself up a nice collection. So that's what my sister and I do. Usually we each year we buy us each other a. Um, a decoration piece sort of a little bit more expensive just part of sort of our christmas stocking and it's nice to build it up and i buy my daughter also every year a decoration piece for her christmas tree one day when she settled into a home now i'm doing the um, last page which is going to be the first prompt of the unprecedented and i've decided to make this cute little envelope i've got various videos how i make this i'll try to link one of them below it's like a template from amity bloom um, yeah, I'll leave that also down below there if you want to purchase it. Um, it's a hard template which you fold into an envelope. And then I'm putting the first prompt in there. I was first thinking of putting it together, but then I think, no, actually I can do some journaling in there if I want to. So I might as well just keep it open. And um, that pattern paper is from Becca Bonwell, one of her newest um, um, good printables. Now I'm showing you this old hymn book. It's 1904 which I got from a charity shop. And I'm going to use, I use that as a back. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's Dutch hymns. Um, so yeah, I can understand um, Dutch because it's very close to Afrikaans, but it's not something I'm going to use and it's falling apart. So I don't feel too bad to use it. I'm just showing you also the, the numbers one to 12, which is also, um, I think that's bits and bobs from Vanessa Walker. Also in the illustrated faith, it's I'm going to put the number on there. I'm going to use various numbers each day. Um, but this is just the first one I'm using. So yeah, I'm just, I love that color scheme. So yeah, I'm just going to give you a flip through. Um, obviously, that's the first page. Brown Show Waters introduction page. My, I might put a sort of a Bible verse there on the left-hand side. There's a little bit of an open space. So I might go back and, and put a nice Bible verse. Yeah, I just forgot to show you that page. Um, yeah, I must say, I love the color scheme this year. It's beautiful. It's absolutely my color scheme. So I'm just putting a put up tag there to top with hope, just to show that this is my first week or five days or whatever days it is. And we're going to do look at hope. And um, the nice thing is, as I can go in with this ring tag, I can fill in, I can do some journaling, I can do some process pages, and I can just add it in there. And I've made this little pom pom string, which I've just put some pom poms through, and I've made a little tassel at the bottom with my color scheme and I'm just hanging it on there. I might find some other things to hang on there, but this is how it looks at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it if you do. Let me know what you're going to do for December daily, or what prompt list you're going to make use of, what companies is out there. It'd be interesting to see what else is out there and make use of the links I put down below if you want to get any of these um, printables. Thanks for watching and you must have a great day. Bye-bye.